Movement here at the Universal Church with the spirit of truth, unity, and comfort. And that all those who confess the holy name may agree in the truth of the holy word and bear witness to it with courage and perseverance. Lord, in your mercy. For our country. May it please you to give, may it please you to guide your pure and peace giving wisdom. Those who hold authority in the affairs of our country, especially Yah, our head of state, and all those who rule over us, that you may honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Graciously hear our prayer. Now we praise you for all your servants who have departed this life in your faith and faith. We beg you to give us grace that we may all share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, we bring our own individual needs to God in silent prayer, knowing and trusting that God hears and answers prayer. Lord, in your mercy, Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Holy Father, through the blood of your dear Son, you have consecrated for us a new and living way to a throne of grace. And what as we are, we come to you through him, and we pray you to accept and use these, our gifts, for your glory. All that in heaven and earth is yours and out of your abundance, do we give you. Amen. Be Amen. present to Jesus, our great high priest, as you are with your disciples, and make yourself known to us in the breaking of bread. You will live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Well, the Lord, well, the Lord, well, the the Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For he is your living God. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent on us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. For with thy co-eternal Son and Holy Spirit, thou art one God, one Lord, in trinity of persons and in unity of substance. And we celebrate the one and equal glory of the O Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Lord of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Praise the Lord. Accept our praise, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his commandments, rendered by the power of the Holy Spirit, his gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. In the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. After supper, he took the cup. And when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ is alive, Christ, Christ is risen, Christ, Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all on the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this bread and this wine, his one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. In the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord through him, and with him, and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in heaven and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in sons of everlasting praise. Bless him and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as the Savior Christ has taught us, we are confident to say, Our Father in heaven, Holy be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on our hearts. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though there are many, we are one body, because we are sharing one. Jesus, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, bear up our sins. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. Give us your peace. Brothers and sisters in Christ, draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, and his blood which was shed for you. Eat and drink, remembering that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith, Thanksgiving. Most merciful Lord, we do not presume to come to deserve you, trusting in our goodness. We come trusting only in your goodness. We are not worthy if it becomes a humanity, but you will not make a change. Your nature is always not mercy to you. We are gracious to you. But as we eat and drink these gifts of bread and wine, it may be to ask the bread and blood of your just Son, Jesus Christ, so that we may evermore dwell in him and live in us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Coming on him, mission praise 193. 